So I'm be I believe this should be showing the screen now. Let me just go back to Keynote. That's one of those things, isn't it? So welcome, Prosperity. Okay, so we're going to get started in a moment or two. Let me just look. It looks like pretty much everybody who's going to join us has joined us. So we're going to try to take an hour to do this webinar, show you a few things, show you some software. Of course, we'll take your questions. So it may run over an hour a little bit. I know some of you, the regulars, are laughing because we always run over. But we really will try to take an hour to do this. What we're going to talk about is how to create free traffic and do it really quickly. And if you've seen any of the mailers, we're talking about perhaps in as little as 10 minutes from when you start. So free traffic in 10 minutes, are we serious? Yes. We're actually serious. I'll talk to Josh and John in a moment, and they'll uh, confirm what I'm saying. We really are serious about this, and we'll tell you why, and we'll show you why, and then we'll explain how. But let me give you the simplest traffic information you could ever possibly hope to hear. It's the rule for getting traffic to your websites. Now, get ready for this. Pencil and pens at, re at the ready if you want to. This is really important. Since you want more traffic, here's how you get it. You go to where the traffic already exists and you siphon it. It's that simple. There is a ton of traffic on the web. You just have to put yourself in front of it and then stand and collect that traffic. There is a lot of traffic if you know where to look. Now look, we're talking about Facebook, of course, you already know that. 1.6 billion visitors every day. That's five times the population of the United States of America every single day. I think that's enough traffic for most of us, right, to be fair. But there is a problem, and we all know the problem, is that it can be difficult to siphon that traffic. It's a ton of work. So, John, Josh, let me just check that your audio is working. If you're both there, if you can unmute, that would be great. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. So we're talking about Facebook, of course, and those numbers – uh, 1.6 billion is impressive. We know that. But there's two questions we need to address for the audience, I think. Number one is, is that number likely to suddenly decrease anytime soon? So what's the answer? I seriously doubt it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's everybody who's related to anybody is usually on Facebook. I don't think I think I know one person who does not have a Facebook account. I think one person of all the people that I know. So. And if it goes down by a third, we're looking at over a billion anyway. So, I mean, in yeah. reality, you know, there's enough room for all of us. But the second thing is, uh, and, and I think this is an important point for people who are not sure where they want to go with their online marketing. With that number of people active on Facebook every day, how many possible niches are actually covered, including the weird ones? I mean, you know, and I don't mean any exact number, but, you know, is there somebody in there on Facebook for everybody, in other words. Yeah, I, I assume you're just asking me and John randomly. Amos, I, uh, yeah, sure. But, That's but right. yeah, 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 I mean, there yeah, basically yeah. is. You know, there, there are, when it comes to Facebook groups, there are certain niches that have more activity than others, certainly. Sure. Uh, but it's a very broad range of niches. I was looking at one as an example the other day, and it's like a worm farming i mean there are multiple groups for that not something i'm interested in but it was the weirdest thing i could think of and then you get all the normal ones of course as well so look it's difficult to siphon that traffic it's a lot of work okay so let's make it easy for you so we're going to take a look at the software pretty much immediately to show you but we'll tell you what it does because you can do this manually in fact John uh, you were telling me earlier that Ted used to do this manually what we're about to show and he got a good traffic um, stream from it but in terms of work there's a big difference between this and what Ted used to do can you just uh, clarify a little bit on that for me yeah he would use Facebook and he would do what uh, the tool does he would join groups and <clears throat> excuse me post to them and he would do this a lot and it resulted in a lot of traffic for him that he was really happy with but it was also a lot of work and so in the long run it got a little bit too much for him to do and that's where the software comes in because it takes all of that out of it yep that's it i remember Let's make it hey, easy yeah i remember that i remember when uh, Ted was promoting that with Facebook groups. And I particularly remember that he built a big email list based off of that as well. And that really uh, stands yeah. out. 
that was one of the biggest lists that we had seen built outside of the IN niche. Uh, it was really impressive. That's a good point because once you get people away from Facebook to your website, which is what we're going to be showing you in a moment, it's a good idea to try to keep them as your subscribers because then you've got more control over what happens. If Facebook closes down tomorrow, I don't think it will, but if it did, you'd be left high and dry. Once you're getting traffic, you need to do more with it, but you can't do anything until you've got some traffic. So we're going to show you how to make it easy and we'll explain things. So it's time to take a look. So let's have a look at the actual software. Doesn't look much, does it? That's because it's incredibly simple. Let me explain to you in very straightforward terms what this, what terms, what this does. You find some groups on Facebook that you're interested in. You do a search on here. I will show you in a moment. You join those groups. Some of them will approve you immediately. Some will take time. But once you're approved, you then start posting to those groups. You can do this manually. You can sit at your computer all day and post to one group after another. And we know some people do that. The beauty of Facebook Automator is that you can preload as many posts on here as you wish for as many groups as you wish. So if you're involved in three or four different niches, you can set up a project for each one of those. You can have five, 10, 15, 20, 200 posts, and you can have them posted out on the time that you specify. You can see at the bottom, down at the bottom left here, you have time controls. You may want to post once an hour, once a day, whatever it is for your particular preference. This will sit you leave it running on your machine and it will post for you day after day, hour after hour to as many of those groups as you like. You cannot possibly replicate this manually unless you are literally tied to your computer. And even then, you couldn't do as many as this does. Uh, and if you have existing content, there's a special way that you can use that as well, which I'm going to show you. So it's really as simple as that. You join a group, you post to the group. You put a URL to allow the group to come to your website, your blog posts and so on. You share good quality content. And please pay attention to the next part because we want to make sure you get value from this. Do not spam these groups. Give them good quality content. If you give good quality content, people will like your posts. Josh will tell you about um, some likes he's had and shares. People will uh, start to respect your authority in the group. They'll come to your websites. If you share junk, then you're going to get kicked out pretty quick. So this is something that you use to save time and effort. It's not something you use to promote junk, okay? I, I really want to emphasize that because all the benefits come from the speed at which you can do these things here, and as Amen. long as you have quality. Yeah, go ahead. Let me just interject there quickly. When it Please. comes to content, we're going to give you guys some really good ideas. We're going yep. to uh, explain what I'm doing, as Eamon mentioned. Uh, I'm not using any of my content. I didn't pay for any of the content. I didn't write any of the content, and it's just doing awesome. I'm getting tons of shares and all kinds of stuff. So we're, we're going to talk yeah, about that. that that's a, a sort of an advanced topic we'll come to in a few minutes, which which is a great way for getting people to your websites. Um, but it's, it is quality content that Josh is sharing. So we've got a couple of projects here that you can see already. This is a demonstration account. So let's look at the woodworking one. Uh, so I'm selecting woodworking, and I'm going to see the groups that we're currently joined with. These on the uh, right-hand side here, we have joined and have been approved. You can see the number of members in each. That's a lot of potential people to reach. And if you put good content in there, a percentage of them are going to come check out your website. You can see there's a lot of groups in the left here. You can join as many of these or as few of these as you like. So we've joined, uh, what's that, about eight or 10 of them. Nice and simple. Uh, and when you're doing a search, by the way, uh, let's say for sewing, just as an example, click find, and it's going, uh, gonna go off and speak to Facebook and find all the sewing groups that it can. You see there's a whole bunch of them here. I'm not gonna join those because it is just for demonstration. But if you were involved in that particular niche, there's a lot of people here who are interested in this particular uh, topic, this niche. So with these groups, if I set uh, uh, some posts up, I'm just going to go to the post tab. You can see that we have a queue of posts here. And each of these has some content and a link to a web, a web page. So if we create a new post, I just have to pull the window over because I've got two monitors. You can put in whatever you want in here. And again, I'm not posting this because it is just sample content to show you. You put in your post blog URL here. 
if you choose to. You don't always have to share a URL if you don't want to. Um, and it may be beneficial sometimes to mix it up and not always have a URL. And then you save. Now, when you save, it goes into the queue and it will start posting in the times that you specify here. So for this example, we're saying only post between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. And you know you can specify whatever hours you want. There's a drop down box here, nice and simple to use. If you want to use different days of the week, that's fine. Many people will simply choose the maximum of everything. Fine, that's okay. But if you wanted to make it look a little bit more randomized, so it's like a real person posting, you can ring the changes on the times of day, the number of days, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and we do have a video showing you how to use this in the help area up at the top here. So there's a bunch of posts here that are queued. When they've gone through and they've been posted on Facebook, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook, uh, I can have a look at the post history here and it will show me the ones that have actually been posted. So here's some example ones. Now let me just resize this a little bit so that you can see. So what we get, and you can see that I can resize the columns and so on. Um, we've got these whole bunch of posts here that were being posted and the dates and times and so on. So I'm getting a confirmation of what's being posted. I can see which ones have, have actually gone through. And however many I have in this queue, uh, and because of the way it works with the database, you can have a really big number of posts queued up. It will just work its way through on the time scale settings that you set. And it will work to, uh, to post to groups safely. Let me just go back to the main page here. Because these settings here, on the main projects page are designed to prevent you spamming and, and posting too frequently. So if you were to post too frequently, uh, Facebook are going to work out at some point what you're doing. The groups may work out what you're doing. If you're posting every 30 seconds, nobody does that in real life, right? So these uh, kind of default numbers just give you a bit of safety. So that's the post page, okay? Now, if you want to, uh, and you have an existing blog with a ton of content, uh, you can use something called the blog feed. So I'm just going to copy and paste the blog feed for our blog on Prosperity and show you what I mean. Let's say I've got a blog that I've been adding content to for a couple of years. If I import, uh, and I've got to just pull this over. Uh, we've done some earlier, actually, so let me just put the new one in. So this is a fee, oh, yeah, I needed uh, an HTTPS, just one second. There we go. So what this is doing is reading the most recent blog posts from the Prosperity blog. And it's got the content and the link and the date when the post was made. Now, your blog may have a, a feed that shows you five entries. It may show you every single entry. That depends on how you set, set your blog up. But this is actually pulling in those posts the content and the link for me. And if I click on import all, all of those posts will be fed into the queue in Face Group Automator for this particular uh, project. And it will start posting them on that time setting that I've created earlier. So whether I've got five posts in here or 50, depending on my settings on RSS, it will pull them in and it will start posting them for me to those groups. And you can, if you want to, post the same content to multiple groups. And there's a feature in here to prevent you doing that too often so that you're not going to post the same item to two different groups at the same time. There's a gap. So again, a little bit of safety built in for you. But this allows you to use existing content on your blogs in a couple of clicks. OK, so let's just have a look at this particular one and click on post details. And I want to show you something else you can do with that existing content. Again, it's on my second monitor, so I've got to pull the window open. For most of you, the window will open in the normal space. It's just that I've got a two monitor setup. This is the content. This is the blog URL. And that was the date the blog post was made. If I want to, what I can do is actually modify this, uh, this content here and change it a little bit before posting. So if I wanted to make it slightly more unique for some reason, I can do that. Most of us probably, if we're honest, are just going to use the blog, uh, blog content as it comes. Now, this is just an example. So I'm not actually going to import them for you. In fact, you know what? I will. I'll just show you. I'll import all. So what I want you to see is this is my existing demonstration queue. 
and all of these are going to be added to that queue when I click on import all down here. So let's just do that. Watch how quick it is. Boom, it's done. Those posts are now going to go out to Facebook on the schedule that I've decided without me doing anything else. Let that sink in. I'm not touching anything else. All those blog posts are going to be posted for me to the group that I've set up here automatically. You have to keep the software running, of course, but it will just work on a timer for you and it'll keep posting until it's done the entire queue. Now, you may have multiple blogs. You can set up multiple projects for them. And on each of those, you can import all your blog posts, as I've just shown you, a couple of clicks that added to the queue. What I want you to imagine right now is taking each one of those posts, logging into Facebook, writing the post yourself, copying and pasting the URL for the blog yourself, then hitting Submit on Facebook. How long would it take you? You saw how long that took me, and that includes me telling you what I'm doing while I'm doing it, which slows me down. This is really incredibly fast, incredibly simple. Honestly, it's so simple that I've told you everything you need to know about it. When you first get this and install, you do need to log in to Facebook. Uh, I'm actually logged into my personal Facebook, so I'm not going to show you that. But there is a full um, video to show you how to use this on the help page over here. And you just click there, you'll see the, uh, the help video. So remember, as many projects as you want, join as many groups as you wish for each project. Make as many posts as you wish on each project and then leave it to do its thing. You could set up an entire year's worth of posting if you wanted to in an afternoon and then just leave it running so you wouldn't have to touch anything again. Well, that's and what that I've way, done, Eamon. Yeah, I, I well, in fact, let's talk about that yeah. because, um, Josh, you've done something which many people wouldn't think works, but you've taken a particular kind of content mm -hmm. and created a blog about it. So what, what's the content, what type of content is it? It's yeah, public, domain public yeah, domain content. So yeah, so it's content that you can, a, a lot of it's old. It's content that, uh, you know, from famous people or, or whatever. It could be books, ebooks, uh, speeches, whatever it is. And you're allowed to do with it as, as you wish. And so I took a bunch of that. I published it to a site. It's a personal site. It's a uh, spiritually related. And so I'm not going to share it here. I'm happy to share it to anybody who might request. But uh, so I published those things. I set it up, spent a few minutes setting up a campaign. And I, that was about six days ago. I left it, haven't touched it in six days, and it's generated hundreds of uh, unique visitors from Facebook. So it's, it's literally that easy. So let me, let me see if I get this straight. First of all, you take content that because of its age, it's free. So you haven't had to create or pay for content yourself. You've set up right. a blog with that. Then you've used Face, Face Group Automator to publish to groups that are relevant to that particular topic. And yep. within the first six days, you've got traffic which, approximately speaking, is going to generate about 15,000 visitors a year from yeah. that kind of posting. And then yeah, if you I'm continue leveraging. posting next week. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm leveraging the, I'm le leveraging the authority of others. Uh, I'm looking at a post right now on my Facebook uh, on my personal Facebook that I shared 23 hours ago. I'm a conversation starter. Whenever you get into groups and you make posts that get a lot of reactions, they, they give you a conversa conversation oh, starter. Oh, yeah, that little, yeah. That right. Thing. And, and so this post, for example, and there are others like this, just from the, the last six days, has 46 reactions, hearts and thumbs ups, uh, 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 thumbs up five comments and nine shares and so that's that's the and that's all from that public domain content i'm leveraging the authority and the popularity of another person all ethically all legally no problem people love it they eat it up and i haven't written a single piece of content and i have not paid for a single piece of content all i did was published a few public domain uh speeches Let's explain why that works, because that's great, and, and you've got your proof there that you've actually got um, results from it, not just traffic, but people are liking what you're doing. And it seems odd that you can take somebody else's content, even though it's old content, uh, and then get, you know, um, kind of um, respect for sharing it. The thing is this, 
nobody has time to consume and find all the content on the planet nobody you know think how many books you read in a year there are thousands and thousands of books written every year many of which will never ever pass through your hand or my hand but if somebody recommends a book to you because they read it and they know that there's a particular benefit to you or the information is useful to you they've saved you two things the first thing they've done is saved you the time to go and research for yourself and people love that because if I give you good information that you could you know if it would take you two or three days to find out I've saved you time the second thing is that by putting it in one place for them you make it easy for them to consume that good information that is of, of relevance to them and what you're posting is highly relevant to the groups you've chosen so you've chosen good groups so we're getting two benefits for the end consumer they're getting a recommendation for content that will be beneficial to them that they couldn't find themselves without spending a lot of time and effort and this is one of the reasons why what we call curated content fancy term it just means somebody else's content that you're pointing to um, is so useful on the web because if you think about it how many times has somebody recommended something to you whether it's an email or you've seen a you know something on Facebook yourself or whatever and you think oh that's interesting let me read it it doesn't have to be their content at all you're just glad of the recommendation and it's so amazing how many times people will thank you for sharing somebody else's content with them uh, a few weeks maybe a month or so ago we did a webinar and I was showing an example site which 70 probably 70 percent of their content is other people's content and they sometimes do a little bit of blurb which I'll talk about in a second um, where they say we think this is good because and people love the fact that they're being uh, sort of spoon-fed good information that they don't have to go searching for it's right in front of them because they visit this one site they see it it's fresh updated every day and so it saves them time effort and so on and essentially people are lazy right now that particular example which is a photography site they put in a blurb saying you know this is a good video point one point two is fine point three I disagree with and so on but Josh let me ask you a question so for this public domain content that you've copied and pasted quite literally how much extra unique content of your own have you added about oh, let's see, let me count the words in this one one two three four five six words <laughs> you don't need to you don't need to add your own because yeah, yeah. you're leveraging the authority of, of you know that content that you yeah. know that has already yeah. been proven to be popular and that's great because for those of you who don't have time that means you don't have to sit and craft a massive piece of content yourself now look if you want to and add some of your own unique voice absolutely wonderful that's fine nobody would say don't do it but you don't have to finding good quality content to share with them is something that people are actually waiting for that 1.6 billion people going on Facebook every day look they're not all looking for photographs of your breakfast they're not all looking for a notification of where you last had a meal in a restaurant. Some of them will be family and so on. But within these groups, they're looking for something that's related to their passion. Now, Josh, we haven't really spoken about the groups in that way yet. But groups are different from the normal Facebook feed, aren't they? Where you know your home page and so on. What's yeah. the thing about groups that particularly makes it suitable for this in terms of niches and interest and so on? Because groups are kind of like fan clubs. Groups are uh, groups of people uh, that rally around a particular niche or uh, cause or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I was just yeah. at my brother's house yesterday. Here's just <laughs> just to show you the popularity of these. I was at my brother's house yesterday, and he had a uh, a pest control company over, and we were talking to the guy, and the guy was telling me about the chemicals he uses for for this. And he said, yeah, I'm a member of, uh, you know, 20 or 30 Facebook groups. And, <laughs> and I'm just thinking, man, everybody's a member of Facebook groups. And so yep. it's just it's full of people who are zealous for that topic. And there's a whole lot of them. And, and, and oh, and let me let me make one other point real quick. Yeah, uh, you can post fa Facebook groups are intended for the members of the group 
to converse with one another. That's really important because Facebook pages, on the other hand, and we've had a few comments, people asking about this. Facebook yeah. pages, on the other hand, they are not created for that. They are created for the creator of the Facebook page, the company or individual, to share uh a one-way a one-way communication from them whereas groups are created with the very intent that you share things with the people yeah. in the group it's a group yeah exactly right yeah, yeah. um i've got a question from martin which i'll i'll take at this point cuz um essentially what i've just done is shown everybody how the software works it's that it is that simple i mean we 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 couldn't make this simpler <laughs> Really, but Martin's asking a really good question, Josh. And John, if if you want to chime in as well, that'd be great. So he's got an e-commerce website. I don't know what the particular niche is, uh, and if he wants to share that, that's fine. We'll mention it. But if he doesn't, that's okay. Now the e-commerce website doesn't have any real blog content. He's using Facebook ads at the moment. His question is: Is there an ethical way to get traffic from Facebook to get to his e-commerce website? So essentially, Martin. You're going to have to, I would say personally, either add a blog to your commerce website or create a new blog and, and put content on there that relates to whatever your particular niche may be and then drive people from Facebook to that blog. And if there's good content on that blog, you can then drive them to your e-commerce website. So it, it might be a two-level redirect, but if they're liking your your content that goes onto Facebook and then they come to your blog to see more and they like the content that they see there and you've got good interlinking from one page to another within your blog um, you can have calls to action and they can be subtle <clears throat> yeah. excuse me and they can be subtle um, but those calls to action can then take them to your e-commerce website because if they're interested in that niche they're going to be interested in all kinds of things about it so any comments on that i just need to mute yeah. one cough. i would Thanks. say the same i would was thinking the same thing you're thinking amen uh, i would just suggest depending on what platform uh, the e-commerce site is built on. There may already be Word pl WordPress plugins to show related items to the post. So you might have above yes. or below or whatever, somewhere in the post, you might have an ad that shows the items that are related to that post on the e-commerce site. So that's another way, in addition to a, the call to action, of course, somewhere in the blog post, it drives people directly to a specific product or something like that. Another thing I would recommend is building a list from it. Like I was just saying with Ted's example of yeah. the woodworking niche, he built a massive yeah. list of woodworkers, and they were passionate. A lot of woodworkers, for example, are very passionate. So he had an email list full of passionate woodworkers. So then he went on and he promoted uh, ebooks and products to that email list and made money. So, uh, but but yeah, you want to focus on content with this. This is a uh, a, a not a direct point of sale type of thing. This is something yeah. where you're sharing content, getting you can get ad revenue, you can get people on your email list, etc. Now I won't share this unless Martin actually gives me a yes later. But I, I can see the particular niche he's in, uh, and it's absolutely ideal for that kind of thing, Martin, uh, because it's the kind of niche where people want information and the seasonal information as well. Um, so if you're sharing good information. Um, let me see if I can give you an example without giving away the, the sort of niche, unless you're okay with that. If you give them information about this particular season preparing for the upcoming season, um, and there are certain tools and equipment and, and products that will help them to do that, people will be interested in that kind of thing anyway, because they want to learn. But if there's a particular tool that makes something easier for them, you know they're already interested in the topic. A lot of them will check it out. I mean, I do. If I see something that uh, my my hobby is um, photography, or one of them is photography, and if I see somebody talking about a new way to uh, make a flash gun give you a better, softer light, I, I will have a look at the equipment to see whether it would be of interest to me. Now, whether I'd buy it is a different thing, because you know if you already have some, you may not. But but you're going to be looking at those things anyway. And some of the people who will be looking will actually have the need for the things that you're recommending or showing how to use and so on. Does that make sense, Martin? Um, because you've, you've got a, a particular niche 
which needs information. It doesn't just need somebody to sell something to them. It needs information. And it's one of those things that's literally an evergreen kind of topic where the same things are going to come around uh, this time of year, the same things in summer and so on. A bit like weight loss. Um, everybody's going to want to lose weight after Christmas because we've all eaten too much. Everybody's going to want to lose weight for the summer, for the beach and so on. So there are certain seasonalities to many, many topics. And yours absolutely is one of those. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Um, so, yeah. um, Eamon, let me let me please. talk about two things quickly here. Uh, interject here. I know we have to make some cover some ground here. Uh, Mandy had asked. So she said, "So does everything depend on the size of the group and the engagement of the group?" Uh, yes and no. Uh, what I will say is, in my experience, I have found uh, some big groups that had hundreds of thousands of members, but yet I got very little response from it. And I have found groups that have only a few hundred and I get a great response. Mm -hmm. So yes, I mean, so then, you know, that would kind of lend towards the engagement, um, the relevance, things like that. So no, it's not necessarily the size of the group. Of course you do want to try to, uh, you know, hit those big groups. You don't want to miss the big groups, that's for sure, because generally speaking, you'll get more, but that doesn't, it's, it's not always the case. So we were talking about the groups, and Josh was mentioning that sometimes the smaller groups can give you uh, good traffic, the bigger ones may not. The other thing that I would say to you, Mandy, is that you might end up being a bigger fish in a smaller group, because if there are fewer people in that group, there are going to be fewer posts every day, and yours may stand out more, particularly if you give good quality content. Thank you, Michael. He's saying it's an awesome deal. We think so, yes. Um, and we think it's an incredibly uh, simple piece of software. You've seen, it took me a few seconds to show you how to do it. Um, it it's really very simple. Find a group, join the group, post to the group, right? Except that you can't do it that quick when you do it manually. And that's why this is so important, really, because it gives you effectively 20, 30, 40 sets of hands. If I queued up 200 posts here, I can just leave that running and walk away. I can do anything else I want to do. If I try to do 200 posts myself, I've got to sit and work. I've got to work to get them onto Facebook. So that's uh, that's really the, the whole point about this. Now, I just want to open this for questions if anybody is... Um, I've got one here. Let me just have a look. It's, I've just got to scroll so I can see this. It's from Cheryl. We have quite a few. So the link you need is facegroupautomator.com. If you're watching this on the replay, the buy button will be just below uh, the actual video. So you hit that button, you'll be able to get hold of your copy and download it within a couple of minutes. By the way, you'll get a welcome email with your license key. You need to add the license key when you first start the application. Please check your spam folder if you don't see a welcome email um, and make sure that you've, you've, you've found it because you will need that license key uh, to get started. So you've seen the tool. It's very simple. I want to just check um, if there are any other questions we've missed, Josh, because we're at the question stage now and we're probably going to finish within an hour this time. So let's have yeah, a there, there are a lot, of, a lot of questions. Sorry, I couldn't hit that. Unmute yeah, button. a good question um, from Ed. How would this work for local business owner groups? It's Essentially, it's the same thing, Ed, as we said to, to Martin. You find content that's of interest to the people uh, involved in your niche, which whatever it may be. And if you want to share that with us, tell us and we'll, we'll be more precise. Um, and you find content that will inform them, instruct them, educate them, entertain them. And then you uh, have a link back to your website where this information is. Uh, and Josh is going to tell you a little bit about the special upsell that we've got for helping you with content in a few minutes, because that's really cool. And when you hear that, that will blow your mind, I promise you. Um, but essentially, you're going to educate, entertain or inform about your topic, get them to your website. And then from there, you can funnel them into a subscriber list or you can send them to your, uh, your, your business page if, if that's what you have. And if people are interested in your particular topic, and they find you through Yellow Pages, 411, um, you know, whatever it may be, an advert on a, a billboard somewhere. However, they find you, if they're interested in that topic, they're already a sort of a pre-qualified group, aren't they? Because they've got interest in what you're involved in. So you're just going to be sharing with them information that pulls them a little bit closer to you. So um, any other questions? Let's have a look. Yep. Mark has one. And by the way, sales are rolling in, man. If you keep hearing... I don't know if you hear those dings or not, but uh, uh, no, I don't. Know. People see the value in it. So Mark uh, DeRocha 
uh, he says, could you explain how do links work on Facebook? I thought Facebook did not like content showing le links, e.g. doesn't yeah. Facebook like to keep people on their sites? Do advise. Oh, no, Mark. Uh, I can assure you uh, Facebook groups are set up. Uh, th this is not in any way even a gray area. Uh, people post links constantly to Facebook groups. It's absolutely 100% yeah. acceptable. And there's one thing I want to make sure, make clear. You do need to, what, you want to make sure that you have a, uh, what is that called, Eamon? The uh, a plugin uh, that, that pulls the Oh, the images. Open Graph. Yeah, Open, open graph, graph plugin. We, we, we cover yeah. that in the help video, so don't worry. Okay. But the it's open real simple. Yeah. yeah, real quick, it, and easy, and simple thing to do. It's nothing. It, and that's about. free, that plugin, by the way. Now, uh, we've got a explain couple of other questions. Explain what it does, Eamon. Can you explain well, what open that graph, does? Quick? Yeah, it's a fancy term for a plugin that will talk to Facebook and tell Facebook what image to show for your blog post. Because Facebook uh, will show an image from your blog if you've set it up as a featured image and you have this plugin. Essentially, once you put the plugin on your blog, then it does it, it does it all for you. You don't need to worry about it anymore. So when you post right. to Facebook via Face Group Automator, you get a really nice looking post that has your content, whatever it might be, your wording and so on, the text, and then the image that's on your blog. Now, if you don't have an image, it won't show one. It will right. show it's your still domain show the name. Link. Yeah. yeah. So, so even you still if you get don't a have that plugin, link. absolutely. Yeah. But if you even can if make you don't it, have the plugin, it's still going to show up. Sorry, Amy. Yeah. Go ahead. But an attractive image is more likely to make people click. So if you don't yet do good images on your blogs, now's the time to start thinking about it. So we've got a ton of questions. So let me just go through some of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Johan is asking a very good question. He's got a lot of good content for his niche, but he doesn't have a blog. Um, is there a way to import his content to the group without first putting it on a blog? First of all, Johan, yes, you can, but then you miss out on the big benefit. The big benefit of having it on your blog is that you can use the blog post URL, the actual link to that blog post, within Facebook in the groups. As Josh has just explained, you can put that link in there, and then people can click on that link and go to your blog. And once they're on your blog, you have far more control. You can get them subscribed up to newsletters if you've got good content. You can um, have AdSense on there if you want to. You could offer some kind of ebook or other kind of uh, product might be the Amazon affiliate program, whatever it may be. But if you don't have a blog, you're missing out on you know more than 50% of the benefit of this, which is driving traffic from Facebook to you. You see, you can't control what Facebook does, but if you can get people to come off Facebook, which is the part Mark was asking about, and you get them on your blog. Now you're controlling what they do. You can control what they see. You can give them suitable calls to action to, like I said, join your list or whatever it may be. I would strongly recommend, Johan, that you get that great content you have and set up a blog. Now, you don't have to create your blog and put 500 posts on there on day one. You could add a couple. If it's existing content, you may find it's uh, remarkably easy to get it onto your blog. Just out of interest, if you could, Johan, can you tell me what um, format the content is? Is it text files, is it WordPress files, um, Word documents, what kind of, where's the content, where do you store it, how do you have it formatted? Um, and while I'm waiting for that answer, I'm just going to see what else there is. Hey, I mean, speaking of content, I think this would be a good time to uh, oh, hit yes. on, yeah, on the different, so, so there are uh, several different options here. We talked about uh, using public domain content, that's always an option, just go to Google, uh, search for public domain content. There's all kinds of websites out there. The Gutenberg pro project has a lot of eBooks. I mean, you could, you could publish a, a book in eBook form and you could leverage the authority that's already established and get people to your site in that way. Uh, and, and all different, I mean, there's just so many different ways to do that with, with public domain, but there's also several other ways. For instance, swipe viral, I believe is the absolute perfect uh, companion product to Facebook uh, face group automator because swipe viral another one of our products it's the by the way if you, when you order a face group automator you're gonna be given this offer where you get a 50% uh, off discount on swipe viral um, you don't have to have it to use face group automator you still use it effectively but swipe viral will allow you to pump uh, content that's already proven to be uh, viral to your blog, and then you can take those posts, post them to Facebook Automator, and 
just amplify it all. So now you have content that's already proven to be popular, and now you're publishing it to these face group, these relevant Facebook groups. It's just a perfect combination. I highly, highly recommend you, you take us up on that. It is at swipeviral.com slash F-G-A dash O-T-O. Uh, I'm going to put that in the chat box as well. Uh, that That is one of the best options. Eamon, actually, could you, while I'm talking about the content options, if you could post that to the chat box. It's yep, swipeviral.com slash F-G-A dash O-T-O. Uh, and so – I highly recommend you do that. That is one of the best options you can you can you can take. Uh, other options for content, um, sure you could use uh, PLR content. That's always an option if you can find some good PLR content uh, that maybe hits on some problems in your niche and provides a solution. You might need to modify those a little. You could get PLR eBooks in the same way that I was talking about that public domain uh, content. See, here's the beauty in all this. You can leverage any type of, of content. It, you don't have to worry about Google. We've been so trained, some of us who have been around for you know, 10, 15, 20 years in Internet marketing, uh, we used to be so trained, uh, conditioned to worry about Google <laughs> in all of your content. Is it 100% unique? Has it been, you know, is it there? Is it whatever? But we don't have to worry about that because all this traffic is totally independent from Google and totally independent from all the different – Things that Google looks at so you can leverage the authority of books that you're legally allowed to share you know public domain of uh, PLR books uh, PLR ebooks PLR uh, uh, speeches um, there's just tons of different ideas and, and ways that you can use this and so those, those are a few really good ways to use it the benefit of uh, well public domain Swipe viral and so on. Um, all of these things can be mixed and matched, of course. But swipe viral, and, and Josh is right, it's, it's a wonderful companion to this. Swipe viral will find existing viral content. In other words, because you know it's content people like, when you share it, it's, it's, it's significantly more likely to be reshared and liked again because people already like it. You know, it, there's a, a viral effect. And if you don't yet have a lot of content yourself, Here's something to consider. So, for example, Johan, uh, and I think Martin was saying that, and um, um, another, sorry, I've forgotten the other person, I think it was Ed, who don't yet have a blog. If you share content um, from Swipe Viral, and, and you can put a blog um, together in five minutes, by the way, and, and put content from Swipe Viral onto that blog in seconds. So even before you have your own content, you can be sharing good content within one of these groups. What's the benefit to you? Number one, you're going to train people that your content is interesting. So they're more likely to click the next time you post. Number two, you're going to train them to start clicking through the link to your website. That means when you're ready and able and you put your own content on there or your own promotions of whatever it may be, or you develop your mailing list, you already have people who are used to coming to your website and reading your posts and enjoying it. I know that some of the groups I'm on, uh, if I see a particular post from one person, I'm more likely to look at it than from certain others. Uh, and the ones who regularly feed Facebook with uh, posts and content that I enjoy are more likely to get my click. Simple. Because I like their content. So you can even sort of pre-prepare if you wish to using Swipe Viral because the content is already proven to be great. So you don't really need to build a massive blog yourself if you don't want to just yet. Uh, Josh, are you going to say something? Yeah, another thing you could do if you don't have a blog, you can promote YouTube videos. Uh, yeah. You have a YouTube channel. You have some U some videos on YouTube. Share your YouTube videos. You'll get uh, you'll get views. You'll get people on your YouTube channel. You get subscribers, uh, and then you'll get people to your. Hopefully, you have you're doing something, maybe affiliate link or something in the description of the video. Another thing, uh, another content source, real quick. Uh, I'll just throw this out there. Uh, a really short story. Uh, many years ago, when I first started, close to the time I first started my internet marketing career, about 15 or so years ago, I had a website on Germany tourism and uh, one page I created I said I want to make a page about the mountain ranges in Germany and so I created this page but I, said, I don't I don't know anything about them <laughs> so I have a problem uh, and I don't want to sp you know spend a lot of money having an expert uh, write it so what I did was I went to Wikipedia and I found the page on Germany mountain ranges 
and I, I, I promise you guys, it might sound unbelievable, but I just copied it word for word. I copied and pasted literally into my blog post, published it, and that po that post, because Wikipedia content changes, people go in and modify it all the time. They update this and they change that and they add this, and uh, because of that, the uniqueness went up, 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 up. So it went from being zero percent unique to even more now. Of course, that doesn't absolutely doesn't matter whatsoever. But just to the, to my story, uh, it ranked in Google and got tons of traffic. And so, uh, besides the fact that Google doesn't matter to us here, just that's another source. You can do that. You can take that content, Wikipedia content. So that's another content source that you might consider. Wouldn't it be wonderful if somebody came out with a tool to help them publish their blog from Wikipedia? Oh, it would. <laughs> in a few weeks. Yeah, that would be really cool. Anyway, <laughs> we, we don't normally pre-announce things, but anyway, <laughs> I'm sure some of you can put two and two together. So what Josh is telling you there is fantastic because you've got multiple ways to get content that you can use to build up a bit of a reputation in Facebook groups and get traffic to your websites. Okay. As simple as that. This is what it's all about, getting traffic to your websites. Now, look, come on, you've got to do something when they get to your website. Yes, of course, but you can have the best website in the world. And if you have no traffic, it's going to do you no good. This will get you traffic to whatever website you may have or choose to have. And remember, if you don't want to build a website, you can buy a website that's made for you, NicheJet. If you want an authority site, you can get one of those made from us. And we'll build a really nice looking website for you, put on some good content, and then you can add to it over time. So you, you can literally do a hands-off uh, traffic stream generation with just a couple of clicks everywhere. Right. So yeah. I'm going to just uh, look back through the questions, Josh, because I yeah, think let I me, might. Let me, answer one. let me answer Please. one real quick. Uh, Eric Please. asked, do you have to do all different content or does the software have spin text to spin one piece of content into many? Uh, you don't need spin text. I'm using the exact same thing for all of my posts. Uh, it, Face Group Automator does not post the same post to any one group more than once. You don't want to do that. And so it doesn't do that. It prevents you. Even if you tried, it wouldn't do it because you don't want to do that. And you can post the same post to multiple groups using the exact same content. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're not talking about Google. We're talking about Facebook groups and Facebook groups. They don't, Facebook doesn't care about that unless you're, you know, unless you're just literally spamming and it's a spam and you get people reporting it and that's a different story. Yeah. But if you're posting good content, uh, you're not going to have any problem at all. You don't need it to be unique. Yeah, that's that's such a good point because I know people worry about that. But how many times on Facebook have you seen the same kind of content or the same story reposted by everybody you know? That's duplicate content. People do it all the time on Facebook. It's not unusual. Facebook is not Google. As Josh has just told you that, we're all conditioned by Google to think that, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, unique and so on. But Facebook has its own set of rules, its own kind of infrastructure. And the way people interact with Facebook is not dominated by Google. So what you have here is a tool that will work the way Facebook works, yeah, which and is Michael, you feed people with content. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Eamon. Uh, I just wanted to share what Michael said. Wow, this is an uh, wow, this is an awesome deal, guys. Uh, Martin, I'm trying to I'm trying to get these open here. Says thanks. This is exactly what I want. We have all kinds of comments like that. I'm trying to. To, to get some of these together, but people see the value. Orders have been rolling in ever since we started this. I uh, hope you guys grab this. This is a really good deal. I, I, I'm excited. I mean, I'm super excited about it. I've had it run. I'm going to keep it running. Uh, it's for so my simple. personal sites, for my yeah. business sites, for, for all of them. It's just easy traffic. And yeah, it's the it's real deal. I wanna, let, let me Powerful. say this real quick. Ultimate. Yeah. Let me just say this real quick. I'm horrible. I'm always cutting Eamon off. I'm sorry. <laughs> let me just say this real quick. You know how many just – garbage to and I, we don't normally you know trash other tools and stuff but th it's true you know how many just useless tools there are out there and people in the internet marketing niche are just always 
proclaiming that this is, you know, just push a button and get traffic. And it's almost mm. always not the case. This truly is okay. I mean, it's a little bit more than just pushing a button. You need to add your posts and things. And we've been transparent about all that. It's, it's, but it really is easy. And it really is about as close to clicking a button and getting traffic as you can get. I mean, I set my campaign up six days ago and just this first test campaign and I'm literally getting hundreds of visitors. It really is that easy and it really is that powerful. Facebook is just giving us a, a, a honey hole here, so to speak. Make the most of it, this, this honeypot, you know, make the most of it right now. Okay, I know some people are going to want to know how much, so let's talk about the, the deal. The regular price is $127. Launch discount until midnight Friday, midnight EST, so if you're at New York time, not your local time, New York time. At midnight Friday, it's going to go to $127, but right now, the launch discount gets you that for $97. So remember, it does end midnight EST, November 29th, uh, and that's not your local time, that's New York time. So you've got to take action, really click the button now while you can. Yes, we've got upsells. Uh, you bet your life because Swipe Viral is a fantastic companion to tool. You will see an offer for that after you make the first purchase. Face Group Automator is a fantastic tool to use with Swipe Viral, which gives you existing viral content. You can publish to your blog and then push it to Facebook to get people back to your blog. The link you need is facegroupautomator.com. I'm going to show you that and leave that on screen for a moment. I'm also going to put it in the chat box. There we go. And if you're watching this uh, video on the main page, you'll see there's a buy button just below the video. You click on that, make your payment, and then within a few minutes, you'll get your welcome email, download link, and you can install Faith Group Automator, get it started within a few minutes. It works on Mac and Windows. We have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you're absolutely no risk at all. Look, midnight EST, Friday, November 9th, the price is going up. Take advantage of it now while you can, and if you're not sure, don't panic. We'll take the risk. We have a 30-day money-back guarantee, but you really do have to act now. You know, time is running out on the discount, and I would prefer you to buy before the discount disappears because I know I'm going to have to tell people no. I get these comments from people after the discount uh, finishes. Can I have it at the old price? No. I've got to tell you no. I'd like to tell you yes, but I have to tell you no. So please get it now before that discount disappears. I'm going to leave the link here for you, facegroupautomator.com, so that you can see that. On the replay, if you're watching that on the, the main page, you just click below the video, you'll see that there's a buy button there where you just click, make your payment. Uh, and But please do that while you've got chance to get this uh, um, launch discount, 127 down to $97. We have a Josh, couple any questions. questions we need to? Yeah, there's, yeah, okay. there's tons, and I'm afraid we may not be able to get to all of them, but there are no. a few I want to hit on. Number one, we've had asked several times, is it SAS or is it desktop or web or what? This is a ah. desktop app. It, it is a desktop app. Uh, but it is Mac compatible. It is PC and Mac compatible. So it's going to run on your system. It's just going to automate. It's going to be another you. It's going to be a robot you just sitting there driving traffic to your website. Why well, uh, multiple robot use actually? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. There was another one I was about to. Hit. Oh, uh, the other people asked about the order link the after Friday. It's going to go up to one twenty seven, one hundred twenty seven dollars. So grab it now. You don't want to miss this. Now let, let me just go through some of these. We have tons of comments here. All right, great product signed up. Amen. Uh, do you have an affiliate program? You can go to prosperitive.com slash affiliates. It's not there yet, but it will be. If you have promoted any of our other products at Pay Kickstart, Pay, Pay, Pay Kickstart is the uh, shopping cart that we use, you can find it there. So uh, we will have it up on uh, prosperitive.com slash affiliates soon. Uh, oh, we did have another question. Uh, can you use multiple accounts? Yes, you could use other accounts. Maybe you and your significant other, or family member, or friends, uh, whoever have accounts and they want to accounts and they want to use it on theirs. You could absolutely do that. The more accounts you have, the more traffic you can get. Now, how many yeah. of those can you get away with? I don't know. Can, Eamon, you can you hear me? Yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, sorry. Just, okay. Uh, All right. So yes, you you should be able to use multiple accounts. You can uh, with different installs of it, uh, but 
you probably would want to use a, a VPN or different IP to do that just to stay safe with Facebook. I will say uh, that before we created this tool, I was messing around with Facebook groups and getting some traffic just doing it manually, and I overdid it. Uh, because we didn't have face group automator to restrict that and they didn't just delete my account they gave me a warning uh, where I couldn't post to Facebook groups for a few days and then mm -hmm. after that I think there was another one after that if if you kept on doing it uh, but I just came back in line reduced my postings and everything was fine so uh, you're, you're not just gonna you know lose your account I don't even think anybody's gonna get any of these warnings because we have all that set up to prevent this Eamon what do you want to say yeah, I, I was going to say that um, I think we were also going to allow people to use this for customers if they wanted to, uh, you know, if they have a client who wants them to do posting for them. Yeah, absolutely. And we, so, we, so, so we don't charge extra. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, we have a question about proxies, which is a technical question, and that may be relevant if you're going to do this for clients. If your system, if you use a system proxy, then this will recognize that because when it connects to the Internet, it will connect through your system. So Jill was asking, can you use proxies with it? Yes, at the system level you can. So if you have a Mac or PC machine, uh, you would then you'd, you'd set up a, a proxy um, before you open the application, and then uh, you know you, you effectively you'd be going through that proxy, which is just how the the way it works. Uh, but you would have to remember to start your proxy before the application. Um, so that, that's Eric a bit more technical, asking. but yeah, Eric, yeah. yeah. Eric is asking, uh, how many how many groups can we post to with one link? Really, uh, mm -hmm. really, you can post to as many groups as you want. I mean, I, we I haven't had a problem with it anyway. Uh, you know, there are some limits we're going to have to find going forward, but I don't think that there's going to be a problem with that. Facebook uh, doesn't have an issue with. That. I mean, you don't want to post a hundred times in a day, that's for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, but you spread on that it out. Point. Yeah, on that point, Josh, let me just uh, answer Eric in a slightly different way, because what you've said is correct, but there's another thing to consider, Eric. The amount of content on any group can be a little bit or it can be hundreds. So, you know, depending on the group and how many how many people are active, you know, you could see 100 posts in a day. Not everybody will read every post. But if you've posted, let's say, a particular link to five groups this week, in a week or two, or three weeks or whatever it may be, those links are going to have scrolled so far down, nobody's going to see them again unless they're specifically looking. So it would be relatively safe then to go post some more, right? Because if it's good information, it's worth repeating because people don't always necessarily see this the first time round. And one of the points that you need to remember with anything, whether it's selling something, getting people to subscribe to your list, or even showing an offer on a webinar, is that you need to repeat good information multiple times in order to have people take action on it. In fact, Josh, you were talking to me earlier, and the, the sort of traditional standard um, advertising marketing recommendation is that it's you need to tell people about seven times, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. People need to, to see it over and over and over. And Facebook knows that. Facebook sees it. And as long as you're not just blatantly going nuts, you're not going to have a problem with that. Yeah. And you I know, it's... finally have something to add to the conversation oh, cool. from a technical perspective. If you're uh, if you want to make sure that each URL that you you're posting gets spread out to the groups slowly, just create a whole lot of posts first and yeah. the more posts you have the software tries to post a different post to each group for as long as possible until it runs out of posts to use and then it cycles back to the beginning so if you have a whole lot of posts in the system it will be posting a different one with a different url to each group for quite a while if you have a yeah. hundred posts or something like that and you're only in 10 groups it's going to post different urls 10 times over before it finally has to get back to one that's already been posted in another group. So if you're concerned about that, just import, bring a lot of posts into the system, and then it will very slowly spread those out across the groups. Yeah, we've got a couple of other questions. Uh, so can we run over the swipe viral explanation? Just an overview. Okay, Mike, swipe viral allows you to find 
content on various social media that's already popular. In other words, people like it. You can then post that to your blog with an embedded video code or embedded image or what have you. So you now got viral content on your blog. And that's just like a one click thing. Then if you post using Face Group Automator to that blog post, you're going to be showing that viral content that's now living on your blog to your Facebook groups. So that's essentially why these two things work extremely well together. John, uh, John we've got a question from a, a Mac user who's having a problem with um, installing the application because he's getting that security warning that Apple love to give unless you pay them a fortune. Could you just take a second to explain uh, what he needs to do? Yeah, just go into your Mac settings and go to home and security. And there will be a little button there saying, uh, that face group automator was a product downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open this just click the open anyway button on the settings page so go to settings go to security and you'll it'll show it in that form click that button and it'll launch it anyway and it won't give you a problem after that uh, it looks something like this when you go into your um, settings you, you click on security and privacy then click on general and then after you've installed the application, you'll see a little message here saying, do you want to open Face Group any Automator anyway? You say yes, then it will ask you to confirm. You click open again, and that's all you need to do. Um, it's just the way Apple works, because we're not going to pay them thousands to, for the privilege of them saying we're OK, which is essentially what it is. Um, you don't yeah, have to have your own group to do this. Sorry, go ahead. I'm not sure if you were. Are you still answering a question there, Eamon? I was reading the comments. I have, yeah, it was I have just a the, question here. OK. Yeah. OK, um, do you have to have your own group in order to do this? No, you're going to use the power of other people's groups. Yeah, it, there, there is there is a question that several people have asked, and that is about uh, different languages. Can you uh, ah, can I don't Martin know. says, does Facebook face group automator also operate with non-English group? I believe so. Uh, John can chime in, but I believe it just all depends on the language. If you search with a different language, it ought to pull up. Uh, groups from that language. Yeah, John. what uh, the software is, it, what it does is it just uses the web browser on the Facebook tab. So whatever you type into the software, the software is going to pass to the browser. So if Facebook supports your language, when you type uh, something into the search bar on Facebook, it should work inside the software as well. Right. Okay. Cool. I'm trying to think of a, a word I can put in here to to do. Let's have a look. Um, oh, I can't think of one. Never mind. But yeah, so it, it's just doing a search via a web browser, so yeah, that's fine. Um, Chris, no, no, this is a one-time purchase. You pay once and that's it. It's not monthly, <laughs> no, that's how good a deal this is, right? You get this software, you pay once, you got the software. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, if you want to pay as monthly, that would be nice, but no, no, it's a single payment uh, purchase. Uh, anything we've missed? Important questions. Oh, uh, we, we have one person saying the swipe viral link doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I believe it does work. It's working for me. It's swipeviral.com uh, slash, <clears throat> excuse me, slash FGA dash OTO. I did put that in the thing earlier, but remember after you buy, okay, and we've got somebody else with a, another word. I'm not quite sure what that particular word means, but we'll see. And I hope it's nothing rude, but uh, I'll put it in. Well, keep so in we'll mind, see. Amy, your, your Facebook account is an English account. English, yeah. Yeah, oh, right. so okay. it may not find uh, foreign language results for I'm, you. I've already found it with some uh, women here. So that's, um, yeah. So yeah, it, it will find, yeah. But if you're in France or Germany or Italy or whatever, you're automatically connected to that version of Facebook, aren't you, of course. Um, Somebody's telling me to shut up and give them the link. <laughs> so let me do that right now. The buy link. This is, this is funny. You know, I've got to say this, everybody. Every time we do a webinar, somebody tells me off for not giving the web link, um, the purchase link quick enough. Um, so I'm just going to send that through now. And Chris, I'm going to give you, um, there you go. Uh, that link is coming through on the message to you We now. have several people. Uh, Jack says, thanks, guys. Great tool. Uh, Carissa says I'm in and, and excited. Amen. You should be. I am too. <laughs> We're pretty excited too. Mark says thanks, Prosperative Team. Another time, uh, time-saving product. Well, thank you. It's very much. It's incredibly time-saving because it's so simple yeah. to use. I mean, it really couldn't be simpler. It, it's incredibly simple, and that is also to answer a question that was asked earlier: why we don't think it's going to fall foul of anything because it's just talking to groups in the way that Facebook allows 
and has created groups for. It's not doing anything unusual. It's not doing anything that's a bit naughty. It's just doing what you would do yourself but it's doing it quicker and it's doing it in the same way as you would do. That's why we have these built in time limits. It's posting for you when you're logged in to your Facebook, but it just types faster than you and it will queue and work all day. You know, when you're sleeping or eating, leave your machine on and this will keep working. So yeah. that's why it works. It's dead simple. It just works. And because it's simple, it means you're more likely to use it, which is always a good thing. Yeah, Leslie just said, uh, just purchased both tools, guys. Thanks for the opportunity. Awesome. Put it to work. Yeah. You'll be excited. I'm I'm seriously excited. <laughs> I like to wake up every morning and check my traffic stats. Yeah, and you've only done with um, existing public domain content. So if you imagine using viral content from Swipe Viral, and maybe if, if, yeah. uh, if somebody comes out with a Wikipedia tool <clears throat> uh, in a few weeks, then maybe even more. <laughs> and you did that complete yeah. copy and paste, didn't you? You didn't even change. Oh, yeah. No, and I didn't. Then actually, you know, and your page is and, and another thing, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. You're about, you guys are going to get an email here in a little bit that talks a little bit more about it. But uh, I'm not even maximizing the potential. I'm posting to approximately seven groups per day, seven, group, uh, seven posts per day. You could do more than that safely. Uh, and, and and that's what I you know I'm getting hundreds of, of visitors already and that's the beginning of the campaign. Once a campaign runs and you it starts to snowball, you get them links out there more. Uh, that traffic is going to be more and more and more. This is the very beginning of the campaign. This is why I'm excited about it. <laughs> and I think it there's going to be a lot of a lot of these yeah. users. We're having a lot of orders come in, yeah. and I think that we're going to have a whole lot of positive feedback from those people who actually put it into to action and use this thing because this is the real deal this is a traffic generator an easy traffic for, generator for the people who are still asking for confirmation about whether or not it works with foreign languages i translated woodworking into french and i searched for that phrase don't ask me to say it because i'll say it wrong my <laughs> last name means nothing about my ability to speak french <laughs> Uh, and it found a whole bunch of groups in French for the French phrase woodworking. So apparently, yeah, there it is. It, it does work. Uh, well, I'm doing it now live, actually, in, in whatever. Is that Danish? I don't know what it is. But anyway, um, it's finding foreign language groups there. I've, I forgot to mention something, um, actually. And John and Josh, if you could comment on this, because we were talking about it earlier. So I'm going to ask the question as an audience member. I know the answer, but let me pretend to be an audience member. I'm not interested in certain groups like woodworking and PHP and so on that we've got as an example here. Can I still get traffic from that and do something with it? Do I need to be interested in those topics at all? Okay. Yeah, the answer is no, because think about what Josh did with his own site. Now, he happens to be very interested in the topic that his site is about, but let's say that he wasn't. He just went out and got that public domain content, posted it yeah. to his site, and then queued that up in Face Group Automator, and it started posting and sending people to his site. He didn't actually write any of that content he's driving traffic with using the tool. So no, you don't have to be interested in it as long as the content that you're getting is quality stuff that people who are interested in the topics, the members of those groups would want to read. Exactly. Adrian, so, Adrian, Adrian asked, can I drive traffic to, to my fan page? You can drive traffic to anything you want. You can, whatever you could post on Facebook, you can post here. It doesn't have to be a link. It can be a link. You can add any text. You can, anything you want, uh, you can post there. Yeah, so Joe gave me translation and I've just put in his uh, French there and you can see there's a whole ton of uh, French groups that are appearing and they're still finding it. You see there's a lot of them. Uh, is the webinar live? Yes, it is, Kerry. We're here live, but we're going to be finishing fairly soon. Um, so I think we've answered as many questions as we can, Josh. We've shown how simple this is. Let me just very quickly show the link one more time. So you can see on screen, facegroupautomator.com. Launch price is going to end midnight EST, Friday, November the 29th. Please don't lose the discount. Immediately on midnight, when the clock strikes midnight, the price is going up to $127. You've got a launch discount right now. 
take advantage of it. We have a 30 day money back guarantee. There's no risk to you. You can, we'll take the risk. Get hold of it, try it, start using it, post good content to your Facebook groups that you're joining, enjoy the traffic, and then do something with that traffic. But remember, you can't do any of that until you've got the application and installed it. So go to the buy button now. If you're watching this replay on the main page, the buy button is just below the video. If not, go to facegroupautomator.com. You can see the, uh, the actual URL on screen. Take advantage while the launch discount is still open. Any, any last comments that we need to address, Josh? No, just get it, guys. This is a, an exciting tool. I'm super excited about it. I legitimately, sincerely am. Uh, and I hope that you see the value and that you grab this and that you get it started. You could be driving traffic literally 10 minutes from now. You really Thanks, can. everybody. And we're going to say goodbye, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.